Hey there, sign of Gemini. How are you all doing? This is Kim, and I'll do your reading for February 2021. Uh, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. If you're interested in donating to the channel or getting a reading, uh, look in the description box below. That'll give you the information. And we're going to start by calling the Divine White Light in to surround us as we do this reading. Surround you as you watch the reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power, higher wisdom. Give us messages that are for Gemini's greater good. Thank you, spirit. So, let me see. All right. One more time. going to draw some oracle cards starting with the archetype deck and then we will clarify with the tarot at the end anima mundi and the mask the all that is the soul of the world is changing it is changing and the mask is the perception that it leaves stuck in your mind and your emotions of what the soul of the world is to you. That perception is changing. The ocean, something in your unconscious that you actually know this on some kind of intuitive level that you know something different is happening. So expect changes, expect changes. This is the spell casting deck. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Psychic abilities are being ushered in with this change with you. Wonderful. With Gemini. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, financial health. Yay. I always think this reminds me of a, a bunch of uh, worldly possessions, I guess. So we have peace. We have peace coming into the mix. And the mask that um, everything is going to take on a different, you know, a different mask, a different resonance with you. In particular, yours is your psychic abilities. You may want to research the different types of empaths, different types of like psychics, uh, because there's different ways. There's people that you know can hold materials and really see the past in it, and then there's other people that just have this knowing of what's going to happen. Some people have premonitions. Um, they're shown what's going to happen like in dreams. So there's many different types of empaths. Um, there's some empaths that come and they take on a lot of the hurt and pain around them. Somehow they can transmute it or change it without getting affected. Because there is a way to not be personally affected by the energy. Then we have Angel of Strength. Something you're going to need to be really strong strong about having courage. This is the card of Leo, but mainly it's used today to remind us to have strength unless you're dealing with the Leo. And then we have strength in financial issues. Strength in maybe things not being exactly how you want them right now, but strength to get through this. Like we saw on the bottom of the deck, that financial health is coming in. Also, this is your door to personal healing and happiness. Has to do with your pentacles, has to do with your talents and spiritual gifts that are coming in for you. Gemini, looking really good. You need to be on the lookout for abilities, visions, maybe, um, or however it's going to be seen by you. All right, for Gemini. Okay, one more time. All right, so we're going to stop. We'll see where everything landed. Look at that. On the bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Pentacles. It is your portal, your pathway to abundance. We have the Nine of Wands. So hang in there, have perseverance. And then this Ace of Wands, two Aces, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. That's your inspiration. And maybe you're going to put on an outward like mask that is of 
this new persona, inspiring others by working hard at putting in effort on what you're wanting to get. Angel of Strength has the King of Wands on it. So it really might be talking about a Leo, could be talking about Aries or Sagittarius, but this is also somebody who is inspiring. Um, somebody who creates and builds, builds things. All right, now we have multitasking, juggling, trying to balance the harder things in life, ebb and flow, the ups and downs. I think you're balancing things all right. Oh, wow, look how that kind of connects with that. That's cool. So this Five of Cups, though, it's about not not doing this. Don't don't hold your, he your head low. Don't hang your head low. Looking at the Three Cups that are spilt, because that's not going to do you any good but bring more proof of things that are spilt in the world. And we don't want that for you. You want the abundance. You want the things to be grateful for that you have already so that more come in. So I would say try to take off the mask of regret and sorrow. Try to not display that side because I don't think it's going to suit you. All right, Four of Pentacles. That's the ability to save to listen to yourself, go inside. Sometimes it can be about shutting other people out, and I don't know if you want to do that, but com combined with the hermit, yeah, you might want to. You might want to go inside, find your light, find your spark, and we have a couple here with Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Something about you need to be bold. She's inspiring, bold. She is behind the scenes, but her and the King of Wands are unstoppable. They're going to make whatever they want to create happen. And it's going to be your door, your personal healing and happiness. She also has psychic abilities, the Queen of Wands. And this, this door to happiness is going to come about with this great step that you take in finding out more about yourself, your talents, your abilities. And when you get enlightened, then you'll take out your light and you'll help light the way for other people. Akin to being a light worker. Something you need to invest in is yourself. And I think that might be what the Four of Pentacles is talking about uh, with you, Gemini. Whoa. All right, obviously that one didn't want to be seen. Look at that again. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. Wow. Super, super signs. I mean, this, it couldn't be more clear. If you need somebody to point out what your exact gift is, it's psychic abilities. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. I think it's what you're having to balance. And I think you will. I think you will take care. So I'm not worried about you in that sense. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. I think this is about going inside with the hermit key successful outcome to your problems so that which you regretted and had sorrow over you're going to find solutions to flowers happiness you will find happiness again have strength bell announcement maybe it's an announcement that will make you extremely happy and then star guaranteed success wow once you start investing in yourself this star came out on the um, Queen of Pentacles. If this is not talking about Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, this is definitely you have enough strength to get what you're wanting to manifest. Having this new venture be a guaranteed success. Go inside, check your spiritual gifts out. Um, I beg you to. <laughs> Thank you, Gemini. Uh, sending much love and light out to you all. Join me for your next reading. Bye.